friends, Jeff Allen off the Green Iron Well today. I uh, just emptied the back of the truck. I'm not in the woods. And uh, I found this. This was uh, Head Newton Recycling. Uh, we gave from the picket line the other day, and this was gifted to us. It's a 12 serving uh, box for hot beverages tea, chocolate, coffee uh, from Tim Hortons. And just before I tore it all down and threw it in recycling, I uh, got to thinking uh, the, the bladder inside might be able to be repurposed for something else. Obviously it stores liquids without spilling, so that's an option. But I came up with another option, and uh, we're going to take it inside and wash this bladder out. I'm going to share with you what, uh, what my thoughts are. Stick around. Hi guys, welcome back. Jeff Allen off the Green Iron. Okay, we've just come in from outside, and uh, here's how it comes from the, the restaurant. Okay, Tim Hortons, a 12 drink, 12 serving box, serving box for hot chocolate, tea, or coffee. And there's all the all the serving cups and lids. And this is the uh, this is the container. And quite handy to pour pour coffee, uh, certainly with. Uh, at a bulk meeting or a, an opportunity where you have to have more than one more than one coffee, this is uh, the way to go. I think it sells for about twenty dollars. So the uh, the cartons come all tear down, and uh, obviously they construct the carton. But inside, they have this large ladder, and it's obviously waterproof, or it certainly uh, it doesn't leak. Uh, because it does serve liquids. The cap is uh, it, it, you know, tightens quite quite snug. The lining, it's almost like a, a mylar. It's quite quite strong. I can't tear it, but it's actually insulative. It has that insulative qualities. Reinforced seams around the outside. And my initial thought was, if this could be used as a uh, certainly a water or a fluid carrying device but also if I were to wash it out and uh, inflate it obviously a large large hole to inflate seal it up tightly I wonder if that would act as a pillow because it certainly folds down and collapses down I can't afford some of these Sea to summit or inflatable pillows. But that is just a perfect size, especially if I make a uh, fabric liner and stitch up a liner for that to fit in. The uh, plug, or the nozzle offset to one side of the bag would keep it out of the way. That would also go on the bottom. And then you're left with a large pillow to sleep on, certainly in a pinch. They may even have some warming qualities to it with this this kind of a mylar um, heat reflective lining so we're going to put it up to, uh, put it under load we're going to wash it out put it under load see if it does uh, exhaust any uh, any air prematurely and if it doesn't we might be onto something here uh, on how to repurpose the uh, the inner uh, beverage lining uh, Tim Hortons <laughs> uh, multi multi serve container that would be great for a camping pillow let's just see what it looks like when it rolls up so obviously it def deflates very very quickly <clears throat> so it deflates down to nothing and if we're mindful on how to fold and I think if we rolled this, and again it's pushing the air out as we do so. Put the cap 
back on. It's about the size of your fist, or certainly about the size of the half a half a cup of coffee, and that would easily tuck in the corner of a pack or in the top of your uh, your uh, compression sack for your sleeping bag or sleep system. And you need a pillow. Pull it out. Two breaths is plenty. Slide it in your, your uh, kind of a fabric casing just to, if you had one, or you just uh, put something over top of that on your ground, ground pad. And uh, yeah, it feels like it would work really well. There's actually a warming, warming feeling when my, my face is on the, uh, the surface. So I'm wondering if that heat reflective uh, capability would also uh, keep that pillow warm with the, uh, the, your body heat. <clears throat> Let's go uh, put some pressure on it and see if it works. All right, we just come over to the couch and we're just gonna field test our of uh, Tim Hortons multi-serve <laughs> kind of hot drink bladder and to see if this would work as a pillow. So we just unfold it. A little, a little bit of a trick to uh, fully inflate it, but typically the pillows aren't fully inflated anyways. And what we're going to do is put the valve side down, and you can see that it's offset, so it's not right under your head. Offset something like something like that. Kick off my shoes. Let's have a try it on the flat surface here. That works. And I think I can actually feel that reflective coating kind of just trap the air and because uh, I can feel it warm on my head can't hear any air loss caps nice and snug obviously it has to be watertight so surely it should be airtight oh that's a win that's for sure so what we're going to try to do now is uh, go down the stairs, stitch a little, uh, some kind of a cover for it, a little, make it a little, uh, a little more comfortable, and uh, a little fabric cover, zip something, uh, sew something up really quickly, and that'll, uh, that'll be perfect, perfect substitute for somebody that can't afford these sixty, seventy, eighty dollar inflatable pillows. So there you go. To win. Well, thanks for joining me today. Thanks, Tim Hortons. Uh, this is uh, <laughs> certainly a pretty, uh, pretty neat uh, invention. Uh, certainly to serve beverages, but uh, also to repurpose as a uh, camping pillow, uh, survival pillow, bushcraft pillow. Certainly an inflatable pillow. Certainly provides a different option for your for your kit if you can't afford some of these higher end pillows. Should you even feel like the need you need a pillow uh, in the outdoors? Anyways, Jeff Allen, author Green Iron. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click like, subscribe, and share. And uh, enjoy your outdoors. See you later.